Hey y'all, I'm Danny, and this is Heard. Hi guys, welcome back to Heard the Podcast, and Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023. I actually recorded an episode before the year ended. I haven't uploaded it yet, but I will. By the time you get this, you'll have the other one too. So anywho, hi J-Rob, how are you? Get a mic, I forgot. Go ahead, get a mic, J-Rob. But, um, yeah, so I had a wonderful um, New Year celebration weekend. I went to Houston for my friend's birthday. Her birthday is New Year's Eve. So we spent the, we all spent a few days in Houston. We had a great time. Houston's really pretty. Um, the weather was cool. The weather was nice. Like it was, um, it wasn't like scorching hot, but it was cool. Like it was like in the, like the high sixties, seventies, some days. Um, but I remember I, I kept trying to check the weather like weeks in advance just so I could know like what to pack and what to buy and things like that. So when I was, when I was checking the weather and stuff ahead of time in advance, it kept saying that it was going to be cool while we were out there. But by the time we got there, like I said, in the high sixties, high seventies, my bad. And you know. We was like, damn, we could have packed some, like, you know, hotter clothes, like some, you know, some, some, like, more, like, less clothing, if that makes sense. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Texas hot as hell. It ain't hell hot. It's cool, though. It's cool. It the, rained the, the first day we got there. Depends on what time of the year. Huh? Depends on what time of the year. Mmm. But, I don't know. Um, I like it. I want to, I want to come, I want to go back to Houston. I want, I want to spend, like, a longer time there. The Airbnb was great. Yeah, they they fired. it was amazing. It was eight of us on the trip. Mm-hmm. We got this nice Airbnb. It was like um, it was it was built like an influencer house. Like it had like the grass walls, the neon signs. It was real cute. The backyard was real cute. Mm-hmm. Like it was really really cute. And it was so funny because when we drove into the neighborhood, like some houses were run down, some houses were uh, and then when we pulled up to that, our house, our house is all nice and just like it was like whoa, what is this? So I guess you know, I think the pe- the people that own it, they probably got oh, the house in foreclosure and like you no know, rebuild it and you know make making that money. Find That's that address. Not, Can you huh? find that address for me? The, ad- the address? Yes, yeah, send that address to me. Okay, I'm gonna get it for my friend. So we see what them houses like. Okay. Yeah. Renovation. Yeah. Because that's one. That's one nice little bag having the air, you know getting the Airbnb and just making money off that shit. Exactly. And that's I feel like that's better than like being a landlord to like mm-hmm. one person, you know. Right. Short term rentals. Yeah, because you can charge like you can charge all these fees over and over again. Yeah. It's more lucrative. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That's a nice bag. A good bag. I can <laughs> see you I can see you getting into like real estate. I am. I can see that. Yeah. I can see you getting into real estate. I can see you getting Airbnb. I can see you buying like a, a complex or like an apartment building or something. And doing it that way. Facts. I want to get into real estate one day. You are. Huh? You are. How you know? Essentially, you are. What you mean? You're already in real estate. How? How? You are. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You gonna tell me off camera? You gonna tell me off camera? Yeah. Okay. Anywho. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it was fun. We, um, you know, I've, of course, like every time I go out of town, I have to find, I have to find the graffiti area. I love, I love different graffiti in different right. states. Mm-hmm. So we found, um, this graffiti area, um, well, we found the Houston graffiti building. Mm-hmm. Um, so they had some nice artwork from, you know, some nice original artwork. Um, you know, I saw some, um, Paul Wall, um, portraits, some Slim Thug portraits, um, it was cool. We saw some Fovos or whatever, like you know the the cars when they bounce up and down. We yeah. saw we saw that shit too. It's, it's um, I haven't uploaded all my pictures yet uh, because I don't want it to be too much of an overload. And there were some really cute pictures. I got I got to roll it out real nice and real cute. Um, we went to a couple of clubs in Houston. We like we love the Houston. I love Houston clubs. Like I love like I love like down south shit. Like I love a down south scene. I love a Cali scene, a Southern California scene. Can't go wrong with them. So yeah, I want to go back to Houston like for like maybe like a week next time, maybe like a week, week a week or two. Mm-hmm. That would be dope. Um, One week. And then after that, I had to I had to catch an early flight home because my cousin um, got married on New Year's Day um, at the wharf. So that was fun. I got to post those pictures too. Um, so it was a really nice time. Like I, I, it was a it was a rush, but what. Endless content. You got endless content. I know I do, but damn, like this is the thing, right? Because I was so tired when I landed. I know. 
I was so tired. And the thing is, like, you know, you would think because you sleep on the plane that you might be rest. No, 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 no. That's a lie. A little recharge, just a little bit. I need a good. I need a good lay down nap. Like I need a good like. What's that like? Four hours, right? Something like that. Huh? From Houston. Like three hours. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Mm Hmm. Yeah, it's not enough. But the flight back seemed quicker because I, I knocked right on out when I got on that flight, the flight back, because we went out to the club New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we got home like around, well, we got home like around like three thirty, four o'clock because we left the club around like two-ish. But then, you know, of course, like I had to go to, I had to tell my friends we had to go to Whataburger. So, because I never, you know, we don't have, a, we don't, we don't have a Whataburger. We don't have a Whataburger. We don't have a Jack in the Box. Like, we don't have none of that shit. They so, I was like, I got to try that. Huh? They sold the sauce at um, Audi. So I want the damn the, the restaurant. I want the place. <laughs> so we went to Whataburger, and I liked it. It was cool. I liked it. You know what? Like it was cool. I liked it for sure because I remember when I was in LA, I was highly, highly disappointed because I got In and Out. In and Out was mid as fuck. Maybe it was the place that we went to, the one I went to, but that shit was mid to me. It wasn't all of that. It really wasn't. It was good back then. It wasn't. And then when I went to North Carolina, I went to the Waffle House. Like I said, when Walt was here, right, right, right. very underwhelming. <laughs> so, um, where is there? Is, is Roscoe's only in L.A.? No, I think it's one. Um, I think it was one out here at one time. What? I think it was. A Roscoe's? We do have a chicken and waffle place, though. It's not Roscoe's. Right. I think it's over in, like, the Fallsville area. I, I forgot what it's called. Tonight. That's what I was thinking about. Huh? We had like a Gladys Knight joint out here. We did out the boulevard. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. <laughs> Damn, we did. Yeah. I never ate there before. For real? Did you? I think I ate in the one in Atlanta. Yeah, I ate in the one. It in was Atlanta. good. It was good. Damn. It was a torch. Mm. You really can't mess up chicken and waffles though. You can, but it's rare. It's rare. Yeah. So one up. of these days, I'm gonna find myself at the Roscoe's, and hopefully, I will not, you know, be let down. Like I said, I like I like Whataburger. I like Whataburger. It was cool. It was cool. I liked it. Um, hmm. I'm gonna look up Roscoe's right now. Yeah, look that shit up. <laughs> nope. Do we have a rallies or is, is Checkers our rallies? Yeah, essentially, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't trust. I don't eat Checkers. I only eat the fries. That's it. Because oh, it's too. They because Checkers like Checkers has too many different things for me to feel like. It's safe for me to eat. You know what I'm saying? You got, you too got, for real. It's too many. Like you got chicken, you got burgers, you got fries, you got mozzarella sticks, you got this, you got nuggets, you got chick strips, you got, you got all, hot dogs, you got all these different things. You got everything. I don't want you mixing greases together and making me sick. <laughs> Hell no, nah. no. <laughs> and then sometimes when I be craving those French fries, sometimes they they be smelling like funnel cake. Yeah, the, the fries is the best. The best. It thing. is. I ain't gonna lie. I might go there. Later. It is the so. best. And then honestly, my bad, y'all. I'm rambling, but um, have you? If it, is it just me, or have you noticed that Chick Fil A French fries have been kind of different? I haven't ate Chick Fil A in a minute, so I want to know. They French fries. It's still cool. They cool, but they getting kind of crispier and crispier. They getting real crispy. It used to be like nice and like soft and flabby. I like I like soggy French fries. I do. Oh, okay, I do. I was about but to say, is that a good thing? To you, it's getting a little crispy. I don't know what's going on. Too crispy. I don't know what's getting there. Like hard. Uh, it's getting there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah. Anywho, they sell a lot of fries. How was your? How was? How did you bring in your New Year's Eve celebrations, um, J. Rob? I made a seafood boil. And <gasps> you did? Did you film it? Nah, I ain't take no pictures now. I just made it. What the fuck? It was right. It was a basic joint though. I only For made. Real? You only made like a shrimp. A shrimp I saw this Instagram chef made th- make um this gumbo today online. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to try making it myself. For real, it was cool. It's like a quick and easy gumbo. Yeah, yeah, like a quick and easy little seafood boy. But that shit was fire. That shit was fire. I don't play mm. with the food, and that's it. I was chilling. I was in the crib. Mm. Cooking well, and eating. Hmm? Cooking and eating. Well, that's right. Um, what happened with um? This is a sidebar. This is not my list, y'all. Um. I don't really follow sports, but what happened with that y- that young man that fell out on the field? Who's who's so, that? Um, um, he made a tackle, and like the um, I think the receiver or the whoever whoever the other player was like ran like hard into his chest, mm-hmm. 
So he, you know, they dropped, then he got up, and then he fell back, like, right back down. Um, so, they say it was cardiac arrest? Yeah. But cardiac. they say he's stable right now, right? Yeah. He's not, he, he hasn't passed. I think he's fine. He just yeah, needs to, yeah. yeah. Um, and all, like, the sportscaster uncles are, like, going at it, because I guess some some guy, some white man was, like... Skip Bayless. Mm-hmm, yeah. He said some he said some wild shit, and he didn't care. Skip always been saying wild shit for, like, the longest, so... Is he racist? I don't think so, but... He says a lot of wild shit. <laughs> he says a lot of wild shit. But that tweet, though, that he did tweet was crazy. What was the tweet? Uh, what did he say? It was just basically, like, very ingenuine to the situation. Yeah, listen, guy, I, I literally, I saw it. I glossed over it. I, just made sure that, I made sure the young man was still alive for me to, you know, be at peace mentally. But after I feel like, realized that he was still alive, I kind of kept glossing away. Because, I, listen, I don't follow the sports. I be seeing these sportscasters. Uh, what's his name? Shannon Sharp and all of them. They be, they, be, they be yelling and screaming. The veins be out their neck. They be, they be going off on the, on the screen. I don't, really too, I don't really get into that too much. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to make sure the young man was still alive, and he is. So yeah. that's great. What's his name? Um, Devlin Ham, Devin Hamlin. And who did he play for? On um, the Bills. The Bills, and he on the same team as the, uh, the other nigga. What's his face? <laughs> it's a bat. It's a football player that's from here that played for the Bills. I think. Stephon. Diggs. Yes, Stephon Diggs. Yeah, because he had a um, Stephon Diggs had a um yeah, a day. block party over the summertime I went to. It was cool. It was um it was with um. Black one. It was a partner with Black on the Block. They do mm-hmm. things in like LA and shit like that. It was cool. It was real cool. Um, yeah, he from he from Hill, Montgomery County, or some shit like that. DC, I think. DC or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His brother plays for a team too. Who he brother play for? Uh, the Cowboys. No. The I don't Cowboys. Know. I, don't even know. I don't know. I don't think so. I think he do play for the Cowboys though. I only know. Listen, the thing is, I only know these football niggas or basketball niggas is because they dating like a singer or like a girl that an Instagram girl. Like I don't. That's the only reason I know. Like, cause I seen. Cause I remember I went to the block party and I saw Joey Chavis, mm-hmm. um, Bow Wow's baby mother and Future's baby mother. I saw her there and I was like, oh, got took a picture of her. I was like. Oh, why is she? I'm like, so I'm like, she must have been. She must be dating Stefan, but no, she dating his brother. I was close, and now I'm I'm tapped into the Stefan, and now I'm tapped into the Diggs family now, <laughs> and you know Normani, you know my girl Normani, she dating um, hmm. what's that boy name? <laughs> Dark skin nigga. I mean, of course that that narrows it down. He a football player. Snowfall. He a football <laughs> player. Shut up. <laughs> he a football player, and he play. For, I don't know who he play for. His name is like. It's like Metcalf or DK, DK, oh, DK, DK Metcalf, Metcalf. Yeah, yeah, Who he yeah. play for? I think the New Orleans. I See, think. New Orleans Saints for the Saints. I think. I now, mind you, got nigga that play for the Saints. Nah, he might have got traded the whole time. Oh, for real? Yeah, I think he used to play. And for that's him. the only reason I know that nigga name because he dating. I told you, it's either the singer. The, if he t- if he with the girls that I'm tapped in with, that's the one I know these niggas. But other than that, I don't know nothing. See, that's how I feel with um with TV shows. What? <laughs> what? Finally <laughs> tapped in. <I> <laughs> Who do you play for? Play for oh the Eagles. The Eagles. No, no, no. I'm tripping. The, Philadelphia the, Eagles. The Seahawks. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. The Seahawks. That's what it was. Yeah, the Seahawks. Yeah. Who were the Seahawks at? Washington. No, Seattle. Seattle. Seattle Seahawks. Okay, okay. <laughs> Seattle Seahawks. Okay, girl. And you know Winnie Harlow. I know. See, listen. Now I'm, I'm tapped into the <laughs> Winnie Harlow. Is with um the guy that plays for the Wizards. His name is Cuz or Kuz or Kuzma. 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 Cause she, I guess she, I'm like she be on. I mean, she be fucking up at the court side. It be, it be saying, D. I'm like, oh, you in DC, sis? I gotta run into Winnie Harlow. Girl, I had to run into you. you I hope I run seats. into you, huh? You gonna get floor seats real quick? <laughs> uh, are the Wizards any good? They decent. I have, listen, I've been I've been in fun, in the DMV all my life, and I have yet to be at one Wizards game. I'm so one. sorry. Not even one. Not the games one. is cool though. The games is fun. The games is dope. You said are they are they any good though? Um, I think they are. I don't know. I gotta check these. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a LeBron fan. I'm a Lakers fan. So wow. Wherever LeBron goes, that's what I'm paying attention to. So, mm. but Bradley Bill and them, they good. They good. Mm. I think so. Anywho, but yeah, that's listen. Like I said, I don't know these mm. niggas' name unless they tapped into a girly that I like. <laughs> Anywho, okay, guys. So, um, yeah, um, I had a wonderful time, great vacation. Um, I, f- I think yesterday, I think the day before yesterday is when I really got a good night's sleep, like a real genuine good night, lay down, wrapped up in my comfort of sleep. You've been moving. I've been moving, been and speaking of moving, I got I'm moving the end of next week. Oh damn! Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot, and I I listen, J Rob. I haven't even fully unpacked my suitcases yet. 
for real. No. That's how it be when you come back. Yeah. Yeah. Unpack it like two days, a week later. Yeah, a week like, later. Damn, I might need that's just that shit laid open like that. Right. <laughs> on, the, on the floor. <laughs> wow. Mm, 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 mm. So I think what I'm going to do is um this weekend I'm going to spend time just like uh, throwing away stuff like mm-hmm. you know giving things out to goodwill and things like that right. so so i can just condense the um i can condense the uh, amount of stuff i need to move Facts. so yeah clothes is the worst thing to move clothes to me really mm-hmm. i feel like that's the easiest i feel like actual I objects so me too so that's what i'm saying <laughs> I'm like right. oh shit um I but yes, yes 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 anywho anywho I um let's get to the topics. Um we're just we're just this is a freestyle episode, I you know what I'm saying? I've been tired. We just gonna go we just gonna we just gonna go with the flow, y'all. I'm gonna eat these chips. Um go ahead and eat the chips. Okay, so <laughs> love is in the air, guys. Love is in the air this new year. Um shout out to Yo Gotti for really manifesting this Angela Simmons thing because he really manifested this. He he manifested it years and years and years ago. And I just feel like, you know, when the time was right. It happened for him. He did the work. True. But I think, honestly, I think that, I'm, I'm not sure, like, how they, if they bumped into each other at one point, or, like, I don't know what happened, I don't know how they, whatever, but I feel like that song really just, like, set the tone for, like, he manifested it, period. Right. right. Period. Shout out to God. He gave us all hope. Mm-hmm. He looks really good down, too. I think he, work, does he work out now? I think he works out now. He looks really good. Wow. Healthy relationship. Got a crush on Angela Simmons. <laughs> mm. And what how is Vanessa doing? I think I think Vanessa be um Is she married? I don't know. She's married to like one of the Wayneses, I yeah. think. She's either she either married to one of the Wayneses or um one of like one of like the Wayne's nephews or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. But I think she's either married to him or has a baby by them for sure. Um yeah, so shout out to him. Like they made they made their Instagram debut photo shoot. It was a it was a photo shoot too. It was it was a it was Instagram. It was an Instagram debut. Yeah, it was. Yeah, no, it was. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anywho, and so next on the love list, um, Chili from TLC. She's dating um Matthew Lawrence from Boy Meets World and and, and Jumping Ship and all the Disney stuff. Um what else is it was um it was Jumping cuz they it was two movies it was like two movies I think or two or three movies mm-hmm. that the Lawrence brothers did together and they were like it was like one was called Jump hold on and I got to look at that hold on. Yeah, Google. Cuz and he's still fine too. He's still fine too. Cuz they were all they were all um very fit and in shape. Matthew Lawrence, Joey Lawrence, and Andrew Lawrence. Andrew was the youngest. But let me go on here. Okay, so here it was. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so it was it was a Disney it was Disney movies too. Oh my god. I know one of them was called Jumping Ship. Oh, he was in Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, for real? Yeah, he was. Hey, yo, that movie is crazy. It was. Oh, rest in peace to um Robin Williams. Yeah. Ooh, it's on Disney Plus too. Um, horse Sense. It was Horse Sense. The first one was called Horse Sense, and then the second one was called Jumping Ship. Oh, I'm not sure if it was the third one or not, but yes. Horse Sense. Yes. Remember Horse Sense? Remember Motocross? I remember that. Remember Double Teamed? I remember that. Remember Gotta Kick It Up? <laughs> remember got- Yo. It was a um, Twitter thread going on today um, where um, someone asked, what was the, um, what was like the best, like, um, song from a movie. Like, what's your favorite song from a movie or some shit like that? Like, whatever. And everybody was saying like Cheetah Girl, Cinderella. It was they was bringing back all these old memories. I'm like, oh my god, these were all bops. Like, what's your what's your favorite song? I had a lot. Like, I had I, I love Cheetah Girl, Cinderella. Um, I love like you know Hannah Montana. Um, they were they were showing theme songs too. Um, I loved the freestyle freestyle Unity, uh, song from the Parkers. I loved it. I even loved it when they were singing on Moesha. Um, in a round, in a round, in a round, in a round. Brandy on that bitch. You know they're going to sing. You know they, huh? You know they're going to sing. No, nah, Brandy didn't sing on the show. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, she, she acted like she couldn't sing. Remember? She was like, she couldn't sing on the show <laughs> or whatever. So, um, but yeah, so Matthew Lawrence, actor Matthew Lawrence is now dating Chili from TLC. This is random. I didn't see this coming, but I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, Lil Duval was talking about how, um, 
he was like, oh, it's cool when they do it, but when we do it, it's, yeah, you know, that whole thing. Um, I, why is it that we cheer for black women dating white men? What, is it like a reverse, like, I don't you know how they say it's reverse racist, racism? Is it like a reverse oppression or a reverse uh, reverse colorism or reverse, uh, uh, I don't something. know. Just That's reverse, something. like... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't speaking it's on that. like when we see when we see Olivia Pope with the president. Yes, girl. Yes, 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 girl. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And side note, side note. This is a super side note. It's this show called The Oval on BET that's by Tyler Perry, uh-huh. and The Oval. Yes, and like it's I a. Think I heard the black woman is like the first lady and she's married to the president who's a white man. It's like for that show is I tried watching the first the first couple episodes. I think I talked about it. I, t- I think I discussed it on here like a, a while ago. Mm-hmm. It's still on. <laughs> and it is just I be seeing previews accidentally. And that show is outrageous. It's just outrageous. Even the previews are just out, outlandish. I'm like, what is going on? It's a lot. Anyway, that was shout a out to TP. Shout out to Tyler Perry. Shout out to Tyler. We just make, you know, people have criticized Tyler Perry's, you know, writing and movies and things like that. But listen, like, it, I can, I'll, I may be on the show talking shit here and there if, I, if, a, if a Tyler Perry movie comes out or whatever. But if he ever offers me a role to play a crack, I would love to play a crackhead on a Tyler Perry film. I would love to, seriously. So <laughs> don't take what I have to say about Tyler Perry's movies too seriously because if he called me one day and was like, play a crackhead. I would love to. I would jump. Is that that girl from the podcast? (laughs) That was talking shit about your movies? That shit crackhead. (laughs) Listen, I would play a mom on drugs, strung out, and and gave her, got her kids taken taken from her. I would definitely, I would love to play in the Tyler Perry movie, okay? You would be a cool little Tyler Perry mom joint. Huh? Yeah, Tyler Perry mom joint. You'd be cool. Be cool in them joints. You think so? Mm-hmm. I'd rather be like a strung out auntie or something. Why you gonna be? Why you gonna be on crack and strung out? Like, <laughs> something outrageous, like because <laughs> it's always something outrageous on his on his movies and shows. There's not. There's never anything calm or just no. It's always zero to sixty, like all the time. Zero to to hundred, like you gotta be the change. You gotta be the calm. Oh my gosh, no. There's <laughs> never. There's never anything calm about a Tyler Perry. Nothing. Anywho, um. So this came across my timeline today. Um, it says that Gabrielle Union opens up about feeling entitled to infidelity in her first marriage. She quotes, I was paying all the bills. So she basically was saying like, you know, she didn't feel bad for cheating on her first husband because she paid all the damn bills. She, she was, she was the breadwinner. Um, some people sounded off on that. Um, I'm not sure if this was in from a book or some shit. I think she, let me see. Opened up about being first married. Ex. Oh, she was married to Chris Howard. Um. Oh, she was on a. She made an appearance on um, someone's show. Okay. Yeah. Anywho. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. Um. J. Rob, you're a man. How do you feel about that? Um. I'm, I'm thinking. Was it really love in the first place? Mm. Was it really love in the first place? I don't, mm. know. I don't know. It makes me think about like, cause you know, um, it makes me want to rethink her thought process or like her logic when it comes to being with Dwayne Wade. Because didn't he have like a break baby or some shit like that? Or like didn't what didn't he? Cause they I remember they broke up at one point, right? Mm-hmm. Cause he cheated or some shit. I don't remember. Yeah. I remember they broke up or some shit, and then he had like a break baby, but then they got back together after the break baby, and like you know, I'm I'm sorry if I'm calling someone a break baby. No, no offense, but like you know what I mean. But like they got back together, and like they're like you know, so it's like I don't honestly, J Rob. I don't know how I feel about. This is a side note when it comes to sometimes when people when when you know when women leave men or when women stay or when women stay with men after their infidelities or even after their infidelities and them having um outside children mm-hmm. on them and then they decide to stay with the man like people call the woman strong and she's this so she's so strong she da 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 but honestly like I think that is something that that is a strong thing to do I will say that but I wouldn't like I wouldn't say, I wouldn't think of her as like this noble woman for doing that, honestly. No shade. Like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, I mean, if you want to stay, stay. That's cool. But like, if you want to leave, that's also cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
it's almost like people would say it's harder for a woman to stay. But I would kind of try to argue that, like, wouldn't it be harder for you to leave and stay gone? Because, like, if you're staying, you're staying because you're comfortable. You're used to this is something familiar to you. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it's hard because you have to stare at this, 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 this. this you, you, their infidelities are in the physical form if they have a baby outside of your relationship. Um. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I wouldn't fault anyone for leaving. Um, and I wouldn't I wouldn't put anyone on a pedestal for staying either. That's just my personal outlook on that. Um Yeah, because I just feel like it's just I feel like mm, I don't know if I should mm, I just feel like someone would be you by you staying or you going back after all of that i feel like you're almost like submitting or something like you're like you're you're not some i don't know if you're submitting to but like you're you're almost like submitting to like the the betrayal because you want to be with something familiar In some instances, I'm not saying that's for every, that's that's the thing for everyone. You know what I'm saying? I'm not falling you for for I'm not, you know what I'm saying. We all have done dumb shit. I've forgiven niggas for doing me dirty. It's you know what I'm saying. It's a way of life. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I wouldn't hold anyone on a pedestal for going back. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that someone is stronger for staying versus someone leaving. I would. I would give kudos to both. I'll say that. I'll just. I'll just. It's, it's, there's. There's. There's kudos that can be given on both sides. Yeah, let's just let's just say that. Yeah. yeah what do you think? Kudos. What do you think? Kudos. Huh? I'm nothing. Would you let a woman? Would you Would you let a woman cheat on you if she if she's the breadwinner? Nah. Well, I mean, I don't know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is interesting. This is interesting. I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know. That's it's weird. That's weird. That's a weird situation. You don't know. So what makes it? What makes it like a? Uh, what makes it a? You don't know. What makes it a you don't know? I don't know. If she, if she cheated me, she's a breadwinner. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So there's room know. for you. That's there's room for you to forgive a woman for cheating. I've never, I've never like heard a man say that to me out loud. Like I'll always, always men saying like, "Fuck that bitch, nah, fuck her, nah, fuck that bitch, fuck that bitch, nah, 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 fuck her, nah." But you're being honest, so you would, you would. What would you do if someone cheated on you? Oh, cheated on. I just said that. <laughs> Go ahead, be honest. No judgments. Oh no, nah, I would just keep it moving. I, that's just me. I'll just keep it moving. Huh? I would keep it moving. So wait, well, you said you 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 said, but that that's but you keep it moving even though even though she is the breadwinner. You just, okay? No, J. Rob. No, no. Be <laughs> honest, because before you said you didn't know. No. So how? Why is it? Why is it a hard no now? Nah, it's a no. Nah, that's a no. I go, I go make some money too. Uh huh. I said I can go, we can go make some money. Too. So it's a no. So you, that's your final answer. It's a hard no because you say you didn't know at first. Yeah, you took this first part out. <laughs> no, I said I what I said. Well, I asked you the same question. I said, would you let a uh, woman cheat on you if she was but the nah, breadwinner? Nah, uh-uh, no. Now it's a no. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I felt like you didn't want to say no at first. Mm-hmm. I have to think about it. Why? It's either a yes or a no up front. Like, I have to think about it. no. Now you want to say no. <laughs> now he just want to say no, 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 uh, uh-uh. no, no. How to think about who I am? No. <laughs> Listen, I, I have just. I will be thirty years old this year. Yeah. Omg! And listen, the things that I've learned in my twenties, child. I am trying to implement that in my 30s. I'm trying to be on an elevated mindset. I am trying my best to be on an elevated mindset for sure. That's what we on all the time. Yes. That's why it's easy to leave. Say no. Oh, it's easy to leave. Easy. Yeah. You think it's easy to leave? Really? It's easy. Ah! I was like, I was like a CJ. He was like, <laughs> he's like this in the background. Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. Um, okay. 
Listen, y'all. I, I'm just spitballing, y'all. I really didn't have anything prepared because I've been tired. I'm so sorry, but we're gonna just make we're gonna make it work. We're we'll making you know we getting jiggy with it. Anywho, okay. So, um, Bad Bunny um threw a fan's phone out, out th- threw the fan's phone away <laughs> like some wild shit. So, I guess a fan spotted him. I guess I don't know if it was after a concert or something. I don't know. A fan spotted him, ran up to him, and tried to get a selfie with him or some shit. I don't know, whatever, right? So he, I guess he grabbed the fan's phone and threw it whatever or threw it away or threw it or some shit like that whatever right so bad bunny addresses the um incident and it was it was a young woman too by the way he threw that shit damn he threw that shit i'm watching it he threw that shit and he was laughing about it too that's fucked up anyway so he tweets about it he says the person who comes up to me to say hello to tell me something or just to meet me will always receive my attention and respect those who come to put a phone a phone in my face i will consider it f- f- for what it is a lack of respect and i will treat it likewise that's what he said um you know celebrities you know they're celebrities like you don't you know you know you, we you know we enjoy their art we enjoy their work but we don't really know them personally we don't know um you know we don't know who they really are mm-hmm. in real life we don't know you know what triggers them we don't know you know whatever we don't we, we don't know these people personally we just don't know but i will say this i think that him throwing that girl's phone was unnecessary i just do i think it was unnecessary I think that the girl, you know, definitely invaded his personal space. Well, you know, he said that he doesn't mind when people come up to him and say hi to talk, whatever, whatever, whatever. But he didn't like the whole phone in his face, the whole selfie shit. I mean, um, and I can imagine that is annoying, and it's like you know, an inv- it's it's more of an invasive thing when you do that. Um, but I, I I just feel like him taking that girl's phone and throwing it unnecessary. A, a simple like, okay, back up, no would suffice i don't know maybe i'm just maybe because i'm not famous or whatever but i just feel like you i mean you know maybe he had a bad day maybe he had a bad day Never know. but i just feel like you know Never. that i feel like that was unnecessary that's a woman it could be. in my opinion back back yeah 50 feet yeah hey. yeah <laughs> But who knows? Who knows? I don't think I um would ever do that, especially at my big age. I would never do that. But I've I've met celebrities before, and I was like, you know, I'll be like, oh, I'll say like, I'll be like, sometimes I'll be starstruck, but I'll be like, oh, how like I'll wave like, uh, hi, like, can I take a picture with you? Like I'll ask, like, take a picture with you, and like, yeah, yeah, like you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll ask first. I don't be, like, oh, I don't do that. Not everybody. Not, have, not in their face. Not everyone have common courtesy though. Mm-hmm. Not everybody have that. What do you think about that situation? Mm-hmm. I mean, you could just like back, back. Yeah. Stop it and be like, you're throwing that lady. Would you do that if that was a man? Ooh. He probably won't. <laughs> he probably won't. Ooh. <laughs> that was a nigga, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> like, nah, Bad Buddy is um an international pop star. For sure. Shout out to Bad Buddy. Yeah. Yeah. But you ain't had to throw her phone on shoulder. No, he didn't. He really fucking didn't. Anywho, um, so that's earlier. Okay, so first, oh, well, hold on. This is the thing. Um, I, I guess, I guess, um, Erica Banks, she released a freestyle, um, Did rapping like over it? Young Jocks is going down beat. Did you like it? I like it. This is the thing, with Erica Banks. I will always say this. Erica Banks, she is, she can rap her ass off. She's very talented. She reminds me of Agent Doll, where she's very talented, but she keeps making dumb decisions. Like she keeps saying stupid shit. She keeps doing dumb shit, where it's like it's overshadows your talent, and now people think of you as a fucking joke. Mm. This year, this year, I really want some sort of like Erica Banks rebrand or something, some type of Erica Banks, Erica Banks like repackage. Because she's very talented. I want, um, I kind of, you know, I don't mind women, um, you know, embracing their sexuality. But I do kind of want Erica Banks to dial it back just a tad bit. Because what she does is kind of raunchy and it's not really giving for me. Um, like she did some some Christmas shit where she was licking ornaments and shit. It was weird. I'm like, this girl, like it's a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. Like, girl, stop. Like, but, licking ornaments? Yeah, it was a lot. Like, but it was just like, girl, like, no. And like. I just want her to, um, you know, like I said, you can be, you can be sexual. Like I love, uh, you know, I love when, um, 
Do I want to say her name? Because I don't want to do this. Every time I say, whatever. Yeah. I love when Megan, you know, is sexual. But there's like a, there's like a, um, there's like an, like an, like an elegance and a regal, a regal aspect to, to Megan still, if that makes sense. She's still, she's still high fashion. She's still like an A-list girl. But I just think for like Erica, she still needs some, some polishing. She still needs some polishing. And I just want it to not be so damn raunchy. Like she don't even got to be that raunchy. She don't have to be that raunchy. She can, she can rap. rap. She really be rapping like shit. And Erica Banks drops music consistently and no one gives a fuck for real because of her, of her, like, I guess, I don't know if it's like lack of management or lack of like, I don't know. I, I, like I said, a lot of these people be needing like, pu- like good publicists or like right. good managers or something. Can PR. I have a tissue please? Good PR. Cause I feel like when I talk a lot, my nose gets stuffy for some reason. It's weird. I don't know. <laughs> you ever notice that shit? Like I never know. When I be talking, like my nose gets stuffy, like randomly. It's weird. It's not stuffy, but it's like I get like a like a weird backup or some shit. I don't know. Hmm. But anyway, yeah. So twenty twenty three, I want to see some sort of like Erica Banks rebrand or repackage, and I want to I want y'all to put some respect on Erica Banks's name. I don't want to hear. I don't want to see you on, in, on the internet no more. Erica Banks saying dumb shit. I don't want to hear that shit no more. Don't don't talk about how you can't go to the club with a bitch that got I don't know whatever you said. Don't I don't want none of that none, no more of that no shit. shit. I want to see this year. I want to see um, Lola Lola Brooke. Is that her name Lola Brooke? Yeah. Let me see, make sure her name is Lola Brooke. Yeah, Lola Cause she Brooke. from she from the Bronx or Brooklyn or some shit like that. Yeah, I seen her. She dropped a video. The yeah, like a, another freestyle. Mm-hmm. And she, her, you know, her team is, you know, I guess her team is. I've never seen the shade room like promote a rapper in the way they did, and you know they're starting off the year right. They're, I guess her team, you know, they're doing some promotion with the shade room where they they drop in like visuals with the freestyle hitting it. It's, it's, it's great. It's great. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So I want to see. I want to see Lola Brook blow up. Um, if Lola Brook is ever in D.C. or Baltimore or wherever, um, I definitely will try to catch a show. Um, from the clips that I've seen, she's she's very and she has a lot of good energy on stage. Um, she can wrap her ass off. She's beautiful. I love her voice. Um, I enjoyed her funk flex freestyle recently. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to see her blow up. Um, this year I want to see um another girl that I really enjoy that I want better for is Lakia. I really want better for Lakia. Lakia can wrap her ass off and she can sing as well. Mm-hmm. I want to see some sort of rebrand repackage because she was one of the ones that I said that I feel like um she aesthetically I feel like she blends in mm-hmm. with the crowd like I feel like there's nothing like uh you know like, like she's stylish or whatever she's beautiful she's stylish she has the you know the, the dopest lace fronts the dopest care the dopest chains dopest outfits all that stuff but there's there's I, I, I visually I just feel like she doesn't really stand out to me that much this is no shade uh, maybe I don't know, but you know her style is her style. Whatever. Um, let's get off that. I, but when it comes to her music, um, I want to. I kind of want Lakia to. She has a couple of features, like you know she she has a record with Gucci and like you know she has you know City Girls hopping her stuff, of course you know. But um, I want to see Lakia be featured on someone else's record. I want to see Lakia blow up this year. A big feature. Like I want Lakia to be on a Drake song or something. Or like a, you know what I'm saying? I want Lakia to be, I want Lakia to be. Oh, she be out of there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I want Drake to be on her song. So, something like, some type of, I want her to be linked with someone. Um, I want, I want her to get a, a big collab. I want her to be on, I want her to be on someone's song or something, mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. Um, I want her to blow up, and I want to, and I, and I, I didn't watch the Impact Atlanta. I, I caught like clips here and there, and I just heard about certain things. She was on that platform, that show, that BT Plus reality show. Mm-hmm. Um, I heard that they didn't cover her too much, but when they did, they didn't really give her the right spotlight. They kept trying to push that mind your business song. And I feel like mind your business is a catchy song, but she has better songs than that. Mm -hmm. And, um, I heard also heard that at some point, you know, she, she would, um, you know, break down about, you know, just frustration about like, you know, just, I guess frustration about, you know, her being the spotlight, her, her, her career. Maybe she, maybe things are going the way she wants it to go in her career, I guess, whatever. I don't know. But like I said, I want her to, um, really blow up this year. Cause I have a feel, I just feel like QC signed her because, um, I feel like they wanted 
a girl on their team that was like a rap, like a rap girl, like a like a bitch that could really, really fucking rap. Like this, I love the city girls, and you know the city girls, they're good for what they with for what they do. They're good for like you know their their pocket of it. But they they I think they wanted like a like a real rap a rap like a rapidy rap girl, and Lakia is a rapidy rap type of girl. So I want her to blow up, and I even want I want the city girls, like you know. They have a cult following as well, but I really want, I really want the city girls to like skyrocket. Like they, I feel like the city girls are very cultural. Like they're very cultural. Um, you know, they're, they're Miami, they're, you know, they're Florida, you know what I'm saying? Um, they, you know, they, they coin a lot of different lingo that we use now, you know what I'm saying? Flute out period is given this and da, da da da. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I really want the city girls to skyrocket. I want to, I want the city girls to have like a top 10 billboard, hot 100 hit. I want that for them. They never had one, right? No, no. Um, I want this year, I want Cardi B to release her album. Girl, put the damn album out. I want her to put the damn album out. Put the album out. And, and, and honestly, I will get tickets to a Cardi B tour. I want to see a car. I've never seen Cardi B live. I want to go to a Cardi B tour. I know that joint lit. Yeah, she was on. She's a really good performer. Of what I from what I've seen online, she's a really good performer. I want to see her live. I want her to put out the album this year. I want. Um, I want Nicki Minaj to put out the album too this year. I want the album from Nicki Minaj. I want the album from Nicki Minaj. Yep, I do. I do. I want the Normani album this year. I want the Normani album this year. I want to see. I want to see this year. I want to see Chloe on tour with a big name. And I also want Chloe to, um, like I said in previous episodes, I want Chloe to, um, make better decisions when it comes to her, her song releases. Like I want, like I said, like when, it, when that for the night song with Lotto on it, I said that I wish that it was like a male singer that she was, that was on the song with her. I just want her to make better decisions song wise. And I and I kind of by the end of by the end of this year I kind of want I don't think I want a full album from her yet I want to I want like an EP from her like a seven song EP from her or a six song EP from her I want I want her to give us a sample I want that um, and um yeah I have high hopes for the girlies um, I sure. want Megan. Um, to really embrace her power. Um, I know she, you know, you know, Tory Lanez was found guilty, of, of course, because he fucking did it. Whatever he fucking did that shit, and he was found guilty. But as you know, and hopefully that's like a weight off her shoulders. But you know, she still has been experiencing, you know, different, different, you know, different harassments online, and just you know, she's she's stressed. Like you know, she's you know, she's going through a lot. Like you know, no parents, you know, things like that. I really want Megan to really embrace, but she's really that girl. Like she's really that girl. I want, to, I want for her to really embrace her queendom. And I want her to re- drop like a, like she already put out, a, she already put out trauma zine last year, which was recent, like a few months ago, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, I don't think I want a new album from her. Um, I think I want like a, like a re-release for trauma zine, like with some, with a bonus tracks on it or something. And I want Megan to go on tour. Cause I'm a go see her. I know you will. Yeah, I'm gonna go see her. That's what I want. Yeah, I don't want her to release. I don't want her to release a whole new album this year because I feel like she's been doing the whole contract, the whole the whole lawsuit with her with her label and stuff. She be trying to drop this this to get out the contract, whatever. I want a re release of Trauma Z. I want that because I don't really too much care for like when it comes to certain artists. I don't like the whole album, 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 album. I, like back to back, 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 back. It's too much, it's too much, too much. I don't want that. I don't want that for her. Not for her. Not for her. Um, and, um, you know, the Super Bowl is next month. Rihanna, girl. Um, I'm going to need to. <laughs> um, <laughs> your baby's cute, girl. Your baby's cute. He's so cute, girl. Um, <laughs> girl. Rihanna. <laughs> that performance, girl. I can't wait. It's gonna be, it's gonna I be can't it's gonna wait be nice. for the performance. It's going to be very nice. 
I I believe you're probably practicing right now. I want to see girl. I want to see the performance. Like I want like I you know girl. Yes, like yes, we definitely are going to get get a we found love on that that performance. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're definitely getting that. that. That's, that's too popular. We're getting we found love. I'm we're going to get um. Ooh, what we think? Diamonds. We're getting diamonds. We're definitely getting diamonds. Yeah, umbrella for sure. We're getting umbrella. That's a that's a given. I want her to do live your life with Ti. That'd be lit. I want Tia to come out. Do live your life. That's a good stadium. That's a good like anthem anthem type song, stadium song. That'd be dope. Yeah. I'm trying to think if no, no, no. I'm trying to think what the Super Bowl. We're gonna get work. Definitely getting work. Might bring Drake out. No, she not bring Drake out. <laughs> she might bring Rocky out though. <laughs> um. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Um. Just put the work on. Yeah, yeah I see that. What else you think she's gonna do? Um. She may bring Jay Z out. But you know Jay Z don't fuck with Super Bowl like that for real, so I don't know. Oh, he might, he might, cause you know Jay with Rock Nation, so she might, she might, cause they had to talk to Jay Z, but the whole deal, you know what I'm saying? Um, Jay Z might come out. Jay Z might, Jay Z might come out. Might come out on Umbrella. You never know. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what you think? What else you think? Let's do two more songs. What did you, What do you think? Um. We said diamonds. We said work. We found love. Live your life. Umbrella. Umbrella. She may have like she may have like a she may have like a like a like a like a sickening Caribbean set. She may have a Caribbean section on that joint, like a like a like a section where she's like, rum bum bum, but like she might do a whole Caribbean a Caribbean uh melody or some shit like that in in between somewhere. I can see it. I can see it. I don't know if she's gonna do man down. She might she might lead it with work and then do like a um she gonna do a Caribbean a Caribbean section though for sure she will because she did that on MTV. When she did the when she got the Vanguard Award, she had a whole Caribbean section. She gonna do that for sure. She better do that shit, girl. Um, girl, you what the you make the girl you make your you make your home you she makes her whole country proud. Not for she real. Young, like they for um real. I I don't know if they if it's still up, but when you when you go to Barbados, the airport her 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 picture her her right there. She did she did hometown she, hero. The hometown hero. Her whole sure. country. Her whole country. I know her family back at home be like, yeah, that's my daughter. That's my auntie. That's my sister. Yeah, yeah. Nah, they probably be cool. My name Fenty. It's Fenty. Yeah, as in Robin Fenty. Yeah, as in Rihanna. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. That's what I want for this year. I see it for the girlies. I love my girlies. I see it for the girls. You so heard? that's what I want. You Those heard? are my wishes. Um, and for me, and for me, I, I pray and I, and my praying is my manifestation and, mm-hmm. and me working and me putting in the work is my manifestation. Yeah. I pray, um, I pray for a new living situation. I'm getting that. Mm-hmm. Um, I prayed to get a new car. I got that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm praying for a success in this podcast. I'm praying for success in my, in my nine to five career. Mm-hmm. I'm praying for lucrative elevation yep. all around. Yeah. Um, I'm praying for, you know, just, just genuine relationships. Um, I'm praying for, you know, just, to, I, I'm really happy with my friend group right now. Like I trust my friends. I love my girls. Um, I'm praying that, you know, we, we, uh, keep our strong bond and, you know, just build on that. Mm-hmm. Um, and just pray for health and, 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 and just learning, learning, um, experiences and just implementing things that I've learned in the past and just like, um. Yeah, and I, you know what? I you know what else I be praying for too. I'm gonna tell you what. I be praying to God that I find my soulmate. <laughs> I be praying to God that I find my soulmate, and I be praying to God that I I be I pray to God that I one day start my own family that they're happy and healthy. Facts, facts. That's, That's what facts. I be praying for, That's and I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, manifestation. I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna get it. And you know what? Too when you pray, you know, I, people always tell me, you know, be specific about your prayers. That too. Be intricate about your prayers. And you gotta put the work in. You gotta put the work in. Because at one point, I had to pray for a job because it was that pandemic did a, did a number on me. I had to pray for that job, and I had to and I had to put the work in. I had to, you know, what I'm saying, I had to, I had to, you know, fix some things on my end to get that job. Exactly. Now you got it. I got the job. Yeah. So that's what I got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Manifestations. Yep. Anything else you wanted to discuss before we close out? Because I'm gonna do um the closing and then um that's it. I know. Well, um, so before we close out, I want to mention seen and heard. 
scene in her. I have to, I have to do some something. I have to do something. Scene. I have to do uh, some type of like I don't know whatever scene in her. Okay, so um, I'm still listening to this is album. Love it. Um, and oh yeah, one one thing, Solange, girl, I love you. Come out with some more music, and then do a tour or something. Do a con. Come to DC. Come to Baltimore somewhere. I want to see you live again. I only seen Solange live one time at Broccoli Fest, like back in like 20 like 17 or some shit. That's like when that. I seen her too. Oh, you was there? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm still listening to the Scissor, Scissor album. Um, I'm enjoying that. And I've been really, you know, at one point I said that I didn't like, I, I never I never disliked R&B. I just didn't want to get into it too much because it made me feel sad and, like, whatever. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really stepping back into my R&B bag. I think what it is is that I love, like, the alternative type R and B type shit. Like I love like SZA, Solange, Shout right. to Gambino. Like right. I love that type of R and B. Yeah, I can see that, that. vibey type, eclectic, like artsy type of R and B. I mm-hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying? I definitely see that. For, I definitely see it. See that for me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I like that. So yeah, I'm enjoying her. And also, um, I enjoy um, this this rapper named um, her name is. Let me see. Tia Corinne, oh, yeah, she has yeah, that yeah. freaky T song. I like her. She's dope. I like her a lot. She's dope. Yeah. Ain't she from here? Is she? She might be. Shit, because I've seen so. uh, DMV niggas tweeting her, yeah, tweeting about her. Let me see. Yeah, I think she's she, is she? She might be. Shit. We got a lot of a lot of fire out here. Uh, call me freaky T. <laughs> is she from here? Let me find out. Holds on. Freaky T. Let me see who she follow. You can tell about who she follows. She from here. Oh, uh, I don't know. She followed Kilo the Tesha, but I don't know. If she, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Good. I, I think she was from here though, but I think. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. She might be. I don't know. Um. Oops. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. Um. Yeah, I like her a lot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive into her more. I'm really enjoying, like I said, Lola Brooke. Um. I want her to. Does Lola Brooke have a project out or like an EP or something like that? Um. I feel like she might not. I feel like she do probably. I think she does. Yeah. Maybe an EP, not a. She has singles at least on spotify she has singles i don't see any projects oh okay yeah so she has a lot of singles out and stuff oh yeah and ice spice she did uh, i saw a clip online today about um she rapped she rapped over um the quiet storm beat i think Mm -hmm. i like the flow i like ice spice i do y'all be playing with her whatever fuck i like her i want to see what she does too she putting in that work yeah, I want to see what she does too. I like her a lot. I like her a lot. I want to see what she does too. She has a nice voice. Um, I want to see what she does. Yeah. Um. Anywho, um, I'm excited for this year because um, a lot of different movies and shows are coming out around the same time. Um, I'm excited for um, BMF that comes out this Sunday. Um, All American comes back on this month. Um. Power Book 2 comes back on in March. Um, Snowfall comes back in February next month. Um, what else is coming out? The sc- Scream, the like the sixth Scream. I love Scream. That's, I mean, it's a cult classic of mine, so whatever. I'm, I'm going to go watch the sequel every time. I'm going to fuck it. Um, the, the Scream 6 comes out in like March or some shit like that. Um, the Little Mermaid with Holly Bailey. Hey, uh, Holly Bailey, that's coming out in March. I believe March or May or something like that. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a busy girl, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be busy with my show. Okay, I'm gonna have a lot of things to say between January and and, and uh in April. Right. <laughs> about about these shows. You're gonna have a whole I love my shows. Drum. I love my shows. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I'm watching Housewives of Potomac right now and I'm pissed because they are really trying to sit there and lie on Candace's husband. Y'all are fucked up and miserable. And I like I met Ashley at at the Italian restaurant over in DC, RPM. And she looked good, she's so nice. But why you lying on that girl's husband like that, girl? Stop that. I don't like that. Anywho. And also, I want to see Childish Gambino. I know Atlanta is over with. 
But now, childish can be not like Donald Glover. I want to see him dabble in in cinema, like getting like do the do. I want him to be on his Jordan Peele tip. He's probably doing it right now. Okay, okay, please, because sure. if he if 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 Donald if Donald Glover gets into his his Jordan Peele bag, it's over. It's over. I'm sure you're already it's doing it. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> it's done. It's done. That's the sound. Listen, it's over. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, that's it. You, you, you want to just discuss before we close out? Was this a boring pod? It was cool. Okay. It was chill. It was chill. Yeah. It was boring. It was chill. It was, uh, cool. It was cool. Okay. Oh, she's from um, Western Salem, too. Who? Tia. Was that? North Carolina. Oh, she's yeah. not from D.C.? Damn. It's down the street, though. North Carolina yeah. is six hours away. No, it's not. It is. Three. No, four. What? For me, it is. Okay. <laughs> Anywho. <sighs> Philly is three hours away. Shut up. <laughs> Anyway, um, okay, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for listening. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. H e r apostrophe d the podcast. Um, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at heard the podcast. H e r d the podcast. Follow us. Share with a friend. Like on on your podcast app. You know, star us. Give us five stars. Yes. You know, all those good things, guys. Thank you. Peace out. <laughs>